Their strategy was single-handedly responsible for Amazon's 35% of revenue. Brands like Staples, PetSmart, and even Tony Robbins are able to generate 10 to 30% of additional revenue using this strategy. And the strategy they all are using is called order bumps. So if you want to increase sales for your online business, then watch this video till the end. But let's talk about the basics first. What is an e-commerce order bump? Now here is an example that you must have experienced in your daily life. If you go to any restaurant like Domino's or McDonald's and while placing the order on the counter, the person taking your order is going to ask you if you want to try their new drink or if you want to add fries with this order or if you want to try something new that they have recently added. And chances are, most of the time, in order to increase our dining experience, we say yes to these questions. And just because of these questions, the average order value of that particular order gets increased. If you have experienced something like this, then this is exactly what order bumps is. Now let's imagine the same scenario in terms of an e-commerce website. So a visitor lands on your website, they visit the products and they add the product to the cart. And right when they are on the checkout page, before they make the payment, they see some additional products that they might be interested in or they are directly related to the product that they are buying. Now, there is a high chance that people will get interested in these products and they will add them in their cart as well, which is again going to increase the average order value for that particular order. And this is an example of adding order bumps in your e-commerce website. And that's what we are going to cover in this video. I'm going to show you how easy it is to add these order bumps in your WooCommerce store. And we are going to use a powerful plugin for that and that is cart flows. So if all that sounds interesting and you also want to increase your average order value and get some more sales, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit and you are watching Brainstorm Force YouTube channel, the makers of the Astra theme. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and let's see how everything is done. So here we are in our WordPress backend and here in the plugin section, we have the cart flows free as well as the pro version already installed. So in order to add the order bumps, we need to have cart flows pro version installed. So make sure you install both free as well as the pro version. And once that is done, we have cart flows option here. So let's click on this. And from here, we need to go to funnels. And here we have already created a sample funnel. And in order to view this funnel in the front end, we just need to click on this. Let's open this in a new tab. Now, in order to learn more about cart flows, how you can create funnels, how you can customize the store checkout, we are going to create a separate video for that with the latest updated version of cart flows. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because that video is going to get live very soon. So here in the front end, this is how our landing page looks. So this is just a sample landing page. I have created this using the inbuilt templates and card flows. So here, if we click on get now, we can add the product directly into the cart and it will proceed to the checkout. So let's click on this and see how it goes. So here we landed on the checkout page directly. And just like any other checkout page, we have the billing information, we have the order details. And if we scroll down a little bit more, here we have two products showing here, which we can directly add from here to our checkout page. So if we click on add, it's going to add right here in our orders. And we can add the second one as well. So here you can see we now have three products and these two are the order bumps that we have added in this funnel. So let's go back here in the dashboard. Now in order to add these order bumps, we need to click on edit for this funnel. And here are the three pages in this funnel. We have the landing page, then it goes to the checkout page where we saw our order bumps. And then once the payment is done, it will go to the thank you page. So in the landing page, we just have to add the products which we want to promote. And in order to add the order bumps, we need to edit our checkout page. So if you want to edit the design of this page, we need to click on edit page from here. And in order to edit the settings, we need to click on this icon. So let's click on this. And this is going to open up a new panel here. And here the first tab is the products for which we have created this funnel. And we can add more product into this funnel by just entering the name of the product here. And we have various other options as well. Now to add an order bump in this funnel, we have an option here on the top. Let's click on this. And this is the point where we are going to add our products, which we want to upsell as order bumps during checkout. So once again, these are the two products which are already added. So let me just go ahead and remove these two so that I can show you from the very beginning. So let's go ahead and remove that. So right now our order bump section is empty. 
If I click on save changes and let's refresh the front end of the checkout page. Here we can see we only have our product added in the cart and we don't have any order bump here. So let's come back here in the back end. And now in order to create an order bump, we first need to give it a name. So I just go ahead and give it a random name. Let's click on add. And now it says no product. So we need to add a product in this. So first let's click on enable. So with this, the order bump will be visible in the front end, but as we don't have any product in it right now, so it's not going to show anything. So let's go ahead and click on this settings icon here. So this is the preview of how our order bump is going to look like in the front end, which we can again customize. So let's scroll down a little bit. Here, the first tab is products. And in order to add a new product as an order bump, we just need to type in the name of the product. So we can type in the product name like this one. So here we have a product which we can add. Now make sure the product that you want to add as an order bump, it's already added into your WooCommerce store. Otherwise it will not show here. So this product is already added in our WooCommerce store. So we can select it from here and then click on add. So now we have this product added as an order bump and now we can customize how it's going to look in the front end. So for that, let's click on content. So here we can edit all the elements that we can see. So we can change the title, we can change the highlight text and we can change the description as well. So let me just remove the description a bit because this is going to occupy a lot of space in the front end. And here is the short code for showcasing the price and we can disable or enable the image as well. And we can change the image position. We can change the image width so we can enter the value in pixels. So I'm going to leave everything as it is. And after this, we can go to style. And here we have different style of order bumps that we can choose from. So let's say we choose style number four. This is how it's going to look. And I'm going to go with this style only. So here after that, we have position where we want to place this order bump. So right now the default is after order. So it's going to show the products right after this, your order section below the coupon code. But I want to place this after additional information or after the billing information, we can change the position. We can place it before checkout, after customer details, and even after payment as well. So I'll place it after customer details. And then we can customize the look and feel of this. So right now, instead of this white background color, let's go ahead and select something green. And maybe I can select this light shade like this. So this is how it's going to look. And after that, we also have conditions. We can add various conditions. So if we enable this here, we can add different conditions when we want to show this order bump. So we can play around with that as well. But right now we will turn it off and we want to show this order bump for every checkout. And once we are done, we just need to click on save settings. And now if we refresh the checkout page in the front end, here we have our order bump showing right after the customer information. Now this is just one order bump showing in the checkout page. Now, if you want to add more of these order bumps, we can come back here in the back end and right on the checkout page under order bumps, we can use the same add button from here. But first, let's give it a name. Let's say OB2. Let's click on add. And once again, we just need to enable this and then do the same process again. And we can add another order bump in the front end. So this is how easy it is to add order bumps in your WooCommerce store using card flows and increase the average order value for every purchase happening on your website. Along with that, there are five more ways by which you can increase the revenue for your WooCommerce store. If you want to learn more about that, then make sure you watch this video right here. And for more such videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.